With high housing prices, people are getting creative with where and how they live. Fox 13's Aaron Cox spoke with one couple who's trying something they saw online. New carpet and curtains. It's totally different to buy something that someone's made or to have your own. A renovation project fit for a new house. Just decided, hey, I'm going to buy one and, and build it. But Alex Montandon is building a house in a bus. School bus. It's just awesome. You can already see how Alex has started to lay out his family's bus house. This is for my two seven-year-olds. And get a sense of where he's going with the renovations. Our headboard up there and have it facing this way. So like if we park at the beach or we park somewhere cool, we can open this back door and just have nature and have everything be right there. Alex's school bus will just be for vacations and fun. But for Nate and Emily Jardine, we are in our school bus and we're just really excited to work on this together. Their bus will be the couple's first home. And obviously the market is really difficult to get into a home right now if it's your first home. So we figured it was the perfect opportunity to do an alternate option for a home. We really don't want to pay rent because it's so expensive right now. The couple spent more than $4,000 purchasing the bus and hope to build their new home in it for 10 grand. We don't have like a super in-depth plan as far as that goes. Something they haven't planned for, where they will put the bus to live. Yeah, I've heard of buses being converted, right? Vans, um, I've, I've seen the YouTube channels, you know, Instagram accounts, those types of things. Jordan Kolbmer, the lead attorney for the state of Utah's Office of Property Rights Ombudsman, says each county has different rules on how long a van can be parked out on a private property. A more urban or suburban environment, I would say in those areas, uh, you're probably going to be, be able to locate for a few days, but not many more. Details, Nate and Emily